I heard, you know, um, God's direction is for your protection. You know what I mean, so. By the mm -hmm. first man. No, it really is a combination of the three. And in fact, the man, and, you know, in all things, are not going to be equal anyway. So she is just I'm hoping she isn't, you know, getting coverage, you know. I need to get two more guys, you know, just to kind of, just to kind of, you know, get myself together. It's like, nah, that's not the case. It's not what saying. At least that's how I feel. It's not what he's saying. You, know, you want to get into it, you know, you always bring up the Bible. You see? <laughs> so, yeah, really, that dive into the Bible and you know, get it right. So it stands to reason that one of those men would have a stronger impression on a woman than, say, the other two. Like, here, here's something deep about it. Sometimes, uh, you know, people who have heard of the woman, they'll think it might have been the first man who had sex with him. Not really. Or sometimes not even the second man. Because a reality is when most women have sex for the first time, yes. it's not a pleasant experience or they're not as good at it. You know, they nerd. I see when she said it was bond on me, though. It was like, I don't want to get too much into detail, but bomb. Nigga. She was nice, too, nigga. Like, that was the best I ever had in the shit. Like, she's nice, nigga. But, um, yeah, like, she said she didn't enjoy it that much because, yeah, she said it hurt. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. But she was nice, though. Like, but she said, you know, she did, she's research and stuff and stuff like that. So she said, you know, she, she said it was like, she, she knew, she heard it was normal for it to hurt for the first time. So that's why I was like, so why'd you like, you know, why, why'd you like, why would you do it more? Like, why'd you come back with her? She was like, yeah, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I guess no one before the first time. So, yeah, but. So, yeah. So, she started liking it a lot. Nervous. <laughs> it is a lot of stuff, so they don't get into it as much. Very few women are going to have, like, major orgasms their first time out. And it might even be uncomfortable. I actually know of uh, several women who have said their very first time was uncomfortable. But. That still imprints the woman as to the as to part of the equipment. You know, it would have been crazy if I came, but for a while, at least at least until she she asked me to. Like a lot of stuff happened because she asked me to. But for a while, it was great because I wasn't a minute man at all. I actually didn't come. Like you know, the first few times we did it, and so she was like, "I want you to come." You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to make you feel good. But I, it felt great. It wasn't it wasn't that intense, but you know, I just didn't come. It was what it was. I mean, <laughs> <clears throat> I hadn't had sex in a real long time. You know, actual sex was like, I don't know. I just, you know, I just feeling it. I mean, but then when I, when I started to come, I was like coming strong. I mean, it's funny, but, and I was like, and I was like coming off of like, you know, extreme kind of like um, working out and eating healthy and not smoking and drinking all that too. So I was like, you know. But also, it was like when I was like, um, I had taken, like, I wasn't, I wasn't doing all that, like, you know, for like five months, but I was still just drinking water and stuff. I was still drinking heavy water and stuff like that, so, mm -hmm. which is different. But even the first time she kissed me, like, I started smoking again, and we, we tongue kissed, and it was like, she pulled back mad quick. <clears throat> like, she, it wasn't she didn't like it, though, she just... She just hit her by surprise, but she told me she was like she liked it though. I mean, like I just say, she it made her wet. I mean, she liked it. Like yeah, but I don't know. So I always felt like I was addicted to it too because like once, because I started smoking like after that, like I never really stopped for the most part. You know, I stopped every now and then, but for the most part. So <clears throat> I felt like uh, she was kind of addicted to me too, like in that sense, like you know, getting the whipping stuff like that, all the kissing and stuff, just kind of like. I would smell, I mean, I don't know whatever, just smell like, all the time, pretty much, but I would, you know, have cologne and stuff, but the, um, I feel like she was kind of addicted to the, um, all the addictive stuff, too, about me, too. Equation of the type of man that she'll attract and be attracted to. Now, sometimes a man who made the strongest impression might have been that third guy. And just understand how deep the uh, imprint is, and just the concept of it. Many indigenous cultures already knew about it. Indeed, in, um, I'm, I'm aware of some African uh, cultures where the first 
uh, moments of sex or the first time for sexual women is actually arranged or in some cases they have men specially trained to deflower the women. And, you know, well... I felt like God especially trained me. For her specifically. Even just, you know what I'm saying, like the, the sexual chemistry. I wouldn't say the sexual chemistry, but it's like, um, I think what they call it is just like the, um, the dynamic. Like, you know, they'll say, for instance, like, <clears throat> I think what it's called, but I don't think it's called sexual chemistry. It's a different word for it, but just. <clears throat> <clears throat> the way both of y'all's bodies is, you know, like some people's, you know, women say, not even women say, but, you know, the whole big dick thing is, like, you know, kind of like, um, some women say they like, small, but big dick thing is popular, but a lot of women, for the long term, it wouldn't be, like, you know, ideal, even just, if you have a small, because some women are in shape, they're, like, you know, their bodies are different, some women have, have just, you know, smaller vaginas, I'll say, just the way God made them, so. But some women have bigger for you know I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just natural, it's just the way that I made them. So, say the dick is too big for the pussy, whatever, um, both of them won't really get pleasure, so it's not good for the man or the woman if the dick's too big for the pussy or too small, because if it's, if it's too small for the pussy, say that the pussy's too big and the dick's too small, and for the most part, she won't be getting um, all her... Uh, points, you know, hit, I don't know what it's called, but, you know, like, um, sensory points, just like, you know, re reflexology for me, probably, like, reflexes, it won't, it won't, it won't hit her deepest, kind of, or, like, you know, those certain types of you know, spots for her, so if it's too small, it's like, dang, I mean, if it's too big, for the most part, it's like, it won't hit all his reflex points, so if it doesn't, you know, go all the way in, it won't hit his bottom, like, you know, the, the bottom of his, of his shit, you know what I mean, so, whatever you want to call it, so, it won't be giving him, you know, the max pleasure or whatever. So it's very good to, like, you know, have like, the perfect fit. Like, you mean, like, find that person, like, you know, both of y'all. So that's why I feel like, you know, me and her is very special because me is very special, you know. Like, we're like, I feel like we're made for each other in a sense, like, especially in that sense. But then, you know, just really, you know, yeah, I really have a strong kind of affection for her, like, this period, too, though. So, yeah. Um, even. In cases where virginity is enforced. And I'm right back because I'm about to get some coffee. I just drink the green tea and I'm about to get some coffee. I like some lemon in it, but I can't get some coffee and some cinnamon. Yeah, so as you can see, I got my shirt off. Um, took the shower cap off because it's kind of too hot for both of them, but it's actually it feels nice because I'm drinking the hot drinks, you know, the, the hot tea, the hot coffee. So I'm doing it still. You know, the light just comes out, it's still, like, you know, for the most part, dark outside still, so I was grateful I woke up early today, because I, I like to get in them hot drinks, but sometimes when the sun comes out, it's too hot up in here, like, honestly, it's like a sauna, like, it, like especially yesterday, I felt like a fucking sauna, and it's not even, like, it ain't got to as hot as it gets out this morning, so, you know, that's crazy, I'm gonna keep playing it, I'm gonna go to the next video, but I'm gonna keep playing it, so, I'll be right back.